This is a short essay that I've done on the topic of cycles. Now, I've gone through many cycles in my life, like anyone, but what was special about my experience with cycles is that I've gone through more extreme versions that most people uh, go through, which allowed me to make this piece. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope it teaches you a lot about cycles in just a few minutes. So, the biggest mistake that people make, the biggest fallacy, is the forgetfulness of the cyclical changing nature of everything in life. In short, cycles. Everything in life goes through cycles of two different polarities. Good, bad, hot, cold, prosperous, scarce, loving, hating. Everything in life goes through cycles of two different polarities. And these cycles could last from a minute or a second up to millions and billions of years. In addition to major cycles, there are also cycles within cycles. And there are even cycles within cycles within cycles. A good example of a cycle is the 2008 financial crisis in which the entire United States economy collapsed. When markets go up, people gradually become more and more optimistic until they forget about the negative cycle and go into a manic state of buying and buying and buying. The same thing could be said about depressions. When people are going through tough times, it is very easy to forget that the negative cycle eventually leads to a positive cycle. And they believe that the negative cycle will never end. Just like the optimist believes that the upward cycle of the market will never end. Our moods also have cycles with periods of high energy, creativity, and motivation, follow up, followed up by periods of rest, sickness, or even apathy. There are two major mistakes people make regarding the cyclical nature of life. The first mistake is not recognizing which cycle you're currently in and not acting appropriately because of that. The second mistake is completely forgetting that you're in a cycle. A person that continually makes more and more money, but then spends it all at the end of the month, will be left with nothing when the success cycle ends. A person who experiences continual losses in his personal and business life, but fails to recognize that he's in a downward cycle could very well sink into deep depression, apathy, and even suicidal tendencies. Because what's the point if it's not going to end? Not recognizing a growth cycle leads to mania and irresponsible decisions. Not recognizing contraction cycles leads to depression and apathy. When people do not notice, recognize, or even know that they're in a cycle, they tend to go against that cycle, again, in periods of high growth. Instead of saving money, they're spending money. In periods of depression, people tend to act very irresponsibly without realizing that the cycle would end. If you fight against the cycle of rest and keep working harder and harder and harder, you'll end up either sick or burnt out completely. If you fight against the cycle of growth, you'll experience missed opportunities and feelings of disappointment because you did not take proper use of the situation. You have to know when to fight and when to rest. Fighting against the cycles will never, ever work in the long term.
when things are going up, ride the up wave, but also be aware that it will end. When you're in a contraction cycle, remember that it won't last forever. Hold tight. When you're in a growth cycle, do not resist the call to action. Push forward. Fight forward. When you're in a contraction cycle, don't resist the need to rest and heal to fight another day. That is what I have to say about cycles.